Hello everyone, this is Pastor Bill and Candace Beckelman, and we are here on Memorial Day. Just uh, wanted to give you um, an update on what's going on at the church. And um, we had a great time yesterday meeting with everyone. It was, we had drive-in church yesterday. It was so good to see everybody. And everybody was so charged up and it was Lots great. Of air hugs and loves. Yeah, so uh, Lord willing, we're going to do that again next Sunday. Yes. But we wanted just to take, take a moment just to reflect on what this day means, Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that greater love has no man than this, that he would lay down his life for his friends. Mm -hmm. And we are beneficiaries as Americans of people who have actually died in the line of duty in the military and this is what this day is all about and mm -hmm. so it's it's really a day to reflect and to be thankful and mm -hmm. and I was, for some people it's probably it's probably hard they lost yes. loved ones in in the wars and, and in times and it's probably a really rough time but certainly is a time for us to reflect on um, that idea of giving up um, your most precious um, Thing that's been given to you is your life mm -hmm. and we can't help but think of the lord jesus of course yes greater love has no man than this than to lay down his life for his friends and we are beneficiaries ultimately of that gift um, the gift of salvation citizens of heaven and so we're grateful yes. um, for you our church family for the body of christ and we're grateful to our lord jesus christ and we're also grateful because he put us here. He put mm -hmm. us in this nation. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were, you know, we we're beneficiaries of, of people that have gone before us yes. uh, for the freedoms that we possess, the freedom to be able to worship the Lord. And we are blessed that we, that uh, the president has declared that church is essential. Thank you. And um, so uh, we're going to, in the days ahead, we're praying, we're prayerfully seeking about what this looks like next. Right now we're planning a Sunday, at least this coming Sunday, which is Pentecost Sunday, by the way. We are going to be in the parking lot at least one more week. So pray for good weather. Drive in church. And um, we're going to yeah. experience him that way. And it's a witness to the people going down the road on Route 35. Got a lot of horn honks going by as people went by. So um, encourage you just to enjoy the day, but reflect on it as well, how blessed you are today. And we also want to encourage you to just keep on the app, the Facebook, the um, uh, Instagrams, and we'll be sending emails this week to just let you know uh, from which each gathering how we're going to gather, whether we're still on a Zoom meeting or we're going to meet together. But just um, if you could just stay close to your... Uh, your social platforms so that we can let you know because we can't wait to get together. That's right. Right? That's right. All right. God bless you. God bless you. Have a good day.